Good morning everyone. How is everybody doing? I want to show you my process. I'm working on this Joy Sunday. Just a little bit of a reminder, okay? You're probably going to see from here better. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous canvas that I'm working from New Homey. And I'm having so much fun that I can't stop. So I want to show you how I work in here. So this is my desk, computer desk. And I'm working on this gears. So this is how I work. Look at this. My tools in here, whatever I need for stitching in here in this container. And this one actually from, oh, it's dark up there. So anyway, what I want to show you, look what I did. My frame in here, halfway hanging off the desk. But I put on the top my diamond painting container with drills so my frame don't fall on the floor. So I literally just stash on the top for the weight in and that way it's almost like a frame holder. So this is wonderful. And then I have in here already my threads. The one that you see is longer threads in here. It's the one I already stitched. Uh, start to stitch on my canvas so how many I started right now it's one two three four four from here colors I already start then I have four so it's five six seven eight nine ten eleven so I already stitch with eleven colors and let me check camera what we see in here actually I'm gonna get a little bit lower now with my camera all right I lower camera and here's the page that I'm working on so I wanted to create my first kind of square so I'm kind of started like from here oh, it's a reflective paper and kind of go in here to create this little corner and uh, so far I created already a lot and I'm gonna show you the progress what I have and right now actually I'm working with white color that is in here already on a water I stitch and because I have a white color in my needle, it will continue like this. So those water falling down, that's what I'm going to go over a little bit just to finish my thread. But let me show you my progress, what i done so far. And here it is. Little piece. I was really wanted to see deer itself. Uh, you can tell that here on the bottom I still have to do and here like a four or five more symbols in the mix to do. So as here it's kind of like a rocks. If we look in here on a preview, uh, that's the rocky kind of area in here that outline and with backstitch. But what I want to show you, look at this little baby deer. And how much big difference will make when you do the backstitching. It's just a blob of color. Can't even see what is going on. A little bit kind of like a shadow of the little baby deer. So when we will outline with the backstitch, look the difference it will be on a baby deer. So I think it's his eye. It's a French knot up there. Because I have it here French knot, but I find it's probably only like one somewhere, somewhere on a house in here. Um, maybe his eye, I'm not sure. But for now, here's the difference. You cannot see it. So here's my stitches kind of close. I think the threads layer in really nicely. I really, really enjoy working on it. Uh, Mama dear looks beautiful. 
And now, right now, I'm working with white thread. Oh, buddy, bless you. My puppy sneezed. Uh, yeah, you can see the... Where is my little scissors? You can see the shadow under the animals. Um, I really want to finish these rocks now and outline them with the backstitching. But I think I'm going to outline the baby deer by myself just to show you the difference. And backstitching we will do together maybe on a deer, maybe on these rocks. I will do backstitching together with you. But I just wanna want you to remember how this looks like before and I will snap a picture to compare together and we will see what difference is make with the backstitching. So that's my corner. I kinda wanted to go kinda straight in here. But if I have a same thread to finish my uh, needle thread, I just go and continue with the symbol. Uh, same as here, kind of I went a little bit more further just to finish my threads because I don't do parking method. I don't want all the threads hanging off my canvas. But what do you think so far? I think it looks good so far. It's hard to understand yet, especially about this baby deer because his head, he looking this way. So we're gonna create nose go this way. Yeah, for now, it's just a patch of colors and I'm so very happy that Joy Sunday creating backstitching as well because it will make a huge huge difference so I'm gonna work in right now with this white thread and it's already we are on the water so this orange kind of symbols orange triangles or something like that so that's I'm gonna stitch till my thread is done and then I will go back and finish up in here what I need to do. Okay, now let's work a little bit together. I will work with one handed just from this side so I don't create too much shadow. I have to adjust a little bit my light, just a minute. Let's see, let's see, let's see, I should adjust before the, that's not will do, something like that. I didn't really plan to go all the way uh, to the water part and I didn't even know what is going on in here till I look on my pattern and I see it's a water. All I needed with this thread is to create in here on the very bottom on the belly few three stitches in here only. And then you know I don't want to just put thread back into the bunch. So I just you know usually find a symbol if I have on this opening that I work right now just to finish up and that way. I don't have a whole bunch of needles. I don't know if I would stitch some pixelate, not pixelated, confetti, a multicolor picture. Maybe I would learn to do a parking method. But with this canvas, I don't see why I need all those needles and threads hanging in here. For me, it just go cross country stitching and do a little bit at a time. It's the same color. My thread finish. I start new color and go again to the same area till it's done. I can't wait. Actually, I'm excited to try go to the sky area because up there is more of the same symbols so it will be faster to do uh, stitching because it's a big patches of the colors if I can show you for example on a little preview in here if we can see look at this yellow and orange part of the sky it's a big big patch of oh, the reflection 
big patch up there so it will be so much easier it's the very very difficult right now where I am those rocks and grass that what is really too many colors to switch from and it's taking me a little bit longer but since I go a little bit higher to the trees maybe up there is a bigger patches of the same color it will be faster to do now if some symbol and I already answered the question before because somebody asked me if I follow pattern from the canvas or I can follow pattern from the printed page because the symbols are different uh, I use both if I see visually what I have in here right now then I do from the canvas itself symbols but if I don't have a number of the symbols in here and my frame close in those numbers and I cannot see it then I go to my patterns on a paper page and see up there uh, what kind of symbol because symbol will be different so I have to find a symbol and then see on a paper what kind of DMC code I need so it's um, sometimes a little bit take a longer time but that's the good thing to have uh, in some point because of lots of backstitching in here those little lines of ink can cross across of your other symbol and kind of make you think if that's a circle or that just a little square of the same color so that's why it's good to have pattern on a paper to just confirm for yourself that that's the symbol that you need so I use both and it's really really help to use both Before when I cross stitch my winter uh, cottage, not cottage, like a winter street, remember my winter uh, cross stitching that I already finished, but I did not do back stitching up there. So what happened, that stitch uh, canvas I wash and then because in some points if your back stitch and have a bigger lines after washing your canvas canvas can shrink a little bit and back stitching will be hanging but if you do very small lines of back stitching that would be okay so I want to try this time different uh, stitch a little bit main character for example like a deers in here and then I have a rocks I will try to do as soon as I create full stitching of the square whatever I do I will do back stitching right away I think it will be better because later I will be lazy to finish and again the canvas will be with no back stitch I already have a two canvases that I need to do back stitching it's my winter uh, street there's a horse there's a buggy up there and also my puppy flowers need a back stitching and I didn't do it so this time I will do back stitching as soon as I finish a little bit of the main stitching so that's what I want to do first I will do back stitching on my baby deer to show you the difference then it's going to be rocks up there and uh, grass there's a lot lots of backstitching that's why this canvas is going to be look very beautiful as I stitch in right now I check my delivery thing uh, update it says my package out for delivery it's in my city now and I saw post office truck uh, car already went through my street so the package could be in a mailbox but usually those packages 
delivered to my door so I don't know if that's gonna be different truck who will deliver to me or I have to go and check mailbox looks rainy asphalt wet, wet but I didn't go outside yet so I have to go look at my diamond paintings should be here so we will have a new unboxing again I ordered some cross stitch and more oh I cannot wait I'm so excited about that oh you you will love it and for those who don't like to stitch on a small count those canvases that I order in a 11 count so it will be so much easy for me to stitch with you on camera because this uh, canvas in 11 count I don't need a magnifying glass I can see very well it's very easy to work on so I'm excited but they were some um, wasn't available so I was waiting for a while and today it's finally shipped out so in few weeks probably gonna be here because the shipping slow My left hand is under the canvas, controlling my thread, so I don't angle. Like for example, right now, needle go down, and my left hand grabbing a thread till it's go down, and now that thread is still holding with my hand till it's go up. Now I know it's all flat on the bottom, and that's how I stitch. By myself, I still practice to stitch with two hands, especially like right now when it's thread shorter, that it's easy to work with two hands. When thread longer, then I kind of don't have a room because I'm looking through the magnifier and it's kind of on my way, so I can't really do the like a long swing because the thread is long. The threads are beautiful. Don't fluff. They layer nicely. I don't know if you would like same as I do. Like I'm not a very picky person to begin with. But I the only thing I don't like when threads start to break apart and fluff. This one doesn't happen with this one. So I'm, I'm happy so far. And I already how many we count? 20 something colors that I already uh, started on this little corner all threads are good so I assume all of them will be work same way without breaking it so yes so far so good puppy where are you going okay he was laying upside down on the sofa now he We'll go downstairs and lay down by the door because he's getting hot. He likes to sleep on the floor. We bought him a bed, puppy bed, and my cat sleeping on it more often and he don't like it. The only he go on his bed if we have like a he wants to take dinner and we give him this bone that he run to his bed and that's where he munching. But to sleep up there, no. He better go on the ground or on a bed. Waking up in the middle of the night all the time because he go up and down, up and down. He sleep on a bed getting warm or go on the floor back and 
would feel bad when we close bedroom door and not let him in. He would be like laying down by the door on another side and sign. <sighs> like a human. Oh, make us guilty. So we open door, let him in. And he just dropped right between us. And uh, yeah, if you have uh, animals and you love them, you you understand exactly what I'm talking about. Can't wait to start to some kind of like a different colors, maybe like a blue, you know, for the water. So far, I work with browns and greens colors nothing colorful yet well this image it's a fall time so it's mostly kind of like an orange but there there is a beautiful colors up there and some purples for the trees look forward to those colors to add to the bunch Okay, we almost finishing this thread. So I'm just gonna finish right now because it's very, very short. So I will finish as I did before show you tutorial in my last cross stitching. I will go under my first layer in the middle. To find that middle. And one more time, next stitch to it, just to make sure it's all secure. I can't believe I broke my needle for the first time. I was doing this finishing of the stitching and I was going through the center. And I guess I bent my needle a little bit harder and it snapped right by the hole in here. I can't believe it. I did this. Okay, so what I wanted to show you, this one is gem was from Dollar Store. Um, just, just like this. Knob, kind of. You can create decorative piece even for the furniture, stuff like that. So I just place little magnets I have like this long magnets so I just put it and it's attached as it's go because if you go the other way it's pushing away magnet doesn't stick there's only one way it's sticking so it's kind of like my needle holder and now I have to figure out for different colors so let me pick some more color and we will stitch a little bit more together. Sometimes I thread my needle differently and I show you that tutorial before but um, I'm gonna show you right now as well. When you grab a one thread you squeeze it between your fingers like this just so you can see a little tiny um, thread is sticking out in here like you squeeze it and then you put your needle on the top of your thread and it will get into your needle and it's done see so there's so many different ways you can start and we are starting right now new color as well I just open new color of thread let me just even up a little bit and I'm gonna work on symbol in here and a whole bunch of the same symbols so I think I'm gonna start on and just we will go with it it's the like a axis I don't know let's see I'm really trying to bring you close to the canvas with different angles but I still don't believe it's the best I'm telling you the cross stitching tutorials is the hardest for me and now I'm gonna be closing okay let me just start as I 
I show you before my tutorial when I start from the center by holding the one thread and then I go back into the same center from behind the other thread to kind of split and then I will start my stitching as I would normally do Then I'm just gonna trim this thread. I have to pull it with my hand and just cut the tail off. Okay, so what we see? Do we see? Hmm. I'm not convinced that this is the best for you to watch. Uh, by myself I wouldn't be go further in here I would just stop like where I finish in here but it's a good patch of the same color in here it's kind of easy for me to find it on the video and then more difficult parts I will do by myself I always use needles, those that came with the cross stitching. I never kind of try to change. They usually put needle what you need. This color will go kind of all the way through the water, so I guess this is like a depth of the water splashes from this little creek going through the woods next to this cottage. I'm not sure this video, <clears throat> I kind of forgot to check calendar, just for in case if this video go live on Halloween day, <laughs> happy Halloween everybody, uh, the video could, could be switched to different day, I'm not sure yet, so if this is a Halloween, happy Halloween everybody. Not scary Halloween, happy Halloween. Not sure if this year we will have lots of kids come for treats or not. But when I went to Walmart the other day the chocolates never was on sale that much as this year. It's already almost halfway price chopped because I guess not many people will be opening doors this year for trick-or-treaters. So they have a big stash of candies they have to sell. So they are on sale big time. So that's tell me that is not too many people will be welcoming trick or treaters this year.
usually for Halloween I always uh, dress up some kind of costume, some crazy makeup. This year doesn't feel like I should do anything. All well, this year kind of being not good. The spirit not the same this year. Uh, now one more question I would love to answer from my beginners. Yes it is. If you want to order your first canvas please make sure you order printed canvas because it's very easy to follow unless you don't like uh, printed canvas and you like to challenge yourself uh, use it's called counted cross stitching if you're looking on a website uh, counted stitches it's mean you're gonna have a white canvas with the booklet of pattern but the canvas not gonna be printed and if you receive printed canvas, please keep it away from wet spots. Don't ever try to spill something. If you have a drink next to you, maybe you like to drink coffee or tea next when you stitch in, keep that cup far away because soon as water hit any liquid, hit your pattern it will smudge all colors together and then you will have to follow pattern on a paper because you're not going to be able to see symbols anymore when i was cross stitching on the campground and water was accumulating on a, a roof kind of from heat uh, because air conditioner was working and all of a sudden the water stop, start to pour from the anic, the extension roof. And a few drops went into my cross stitch and oh my god, I jumped so fast, tried to dab it out the liquid and it still damaged a little bit. Wasn't, but that canvas wasn't that bad on the symbols, it was mostly like a same color. Uh, that was my like a uh, roses bouquet flowers up there. Uh, yeah, that canvas that wasn't really good anyway. So yeah, it did smudge my smudge my symbols. So you have to be very careful to keep away printed canvases from anything wet. Make sure when you finish your cross stitch and put away somewhere in a box, so nobody else in your family can damage it for you. Especially if you have a kids with sippy cups, they can throw sippy cups and spill some drink on it. It's a dangerous situation to have. take me longer to do with just the one hand but right now I even if I want to do with two hands I can't because camera front of this hand from left side I need to buy and I know already that I need to buy special uh, tripod special camera holder so that way I can move my camera to any position. All right now I can do it. Just put my tripod on the floor. I don't have the clip that can clip up somewhere higher. Which in here I don't have where to clip anyway. Because I'm by the window. And desk I don't have like a shelving next to me to do anything to connect my camera somewhere else
make sure your stitches go always in the same direction from start to beginner doesn't matter from which corner you start they always have to line up in the same direction that's what make it cross stitch and perfect If you don't like to stitch with the frame but in your hands only, you can. But I have to say that stitching will be less perfect. Uh, and I try. Like all my life I was stitching in my hands only without any frames. But you cannot control fabric that way and your fabric can be a little bit squished with the thread if you don't have a control on your hands and stitches will be um, kind of one tight, one loose it just threads layering differently and I know this when I started to do in my hands my poppy flowers I learned that my stitching not as beautiful and after I put in a hoop because uh, that one I stitched and I hope I didn't have a frame by then my stitches start to look more beautiful so definitely this frame it's getting longer because you do only one stitch at a time instead of like if you would do in a um, double stitch in your hands it would be faster but not as pretty so it's kind of like bittersweet one thing is good and the other one thing is better but I just you have to figure out for yourself what you like to have faster stitching or more beautiful stitching okay so I think that's good enough link of video for you today I'm gonna go grab my key and run to the mailbox and see if I got something good up there so we can have some unboxing next week it's gonna be November it's good to start November with some new unboxing what are you saying so I will say thank you for staying with me have a happy holiday trick or treat to you and I will see you in my next video